Hey everybody, Toby Bittenbender here. Welcome to my new channel, Tales from the Treadmill. Listen, it's Saturday morning and I just got back from the lake. I actually did a, a jog to the lake with Kingsley today. Um, you know, and I was thinking the entire way I had my, my daily talk with the universe, you know, just, just expressing how grateful and thankful I am to be alive, um, to have, you know, my wonderful, loving, beautiful partner, wife, April, in my life. I mean, I can't express how much she has been a joy and continues every day to be just such a joy in my life. Uh, she helped to save my life and I'm going to get into that and I felt like I needed to get this Saturday morning. I feel like I needed to get on here and, and talk a little bit, a bit about some other things besides take a little break from the series that I'm doing about my uh, addiction struggles um, and talk about where I am right now and, and things that I think could help you right now. Um, it's you know it's gonna about to get really super heavy in that in that series. I'm gonna do that on Monday because I really wanted to take the weekend to give it some thought and to really collect my thoughts and and uh, be prepared because it's a dark it's the darkest time in my life <clears throat> is what I'm about to start talking about and I just uh, you know I want to talk about where I am right now currently though it was I was thinking about it on my on my jog you know I appreciate so much getting up in the morning, getting out in the sun, getting out, taking, you know, Kingsley down to the lake, being outside, you know, just looking at nature. Um, it really is something that helps me to appreciate where I am in life right now and the sobriety. And, you know, for those of you that are struggling and maybe having a hard time, you know, getting yourself out of that ditch that you're in, because believe me, I was in that ditch. Part of the reason I'm doing this series and, and opening myself up this way is because I want to show the people that are out there that may be struggling right now that you know you may be as as deep as I was in it, um, but so, some of you may be surprised to see how deep I was in it, and also to have you know been able to get out of it and uh, make something better for my life and to be better and to just feel better and to feel happy, you know. Um, so I just want to say that like you know part of what. I did to, to make this all happen was to definitely focus on things that were are positive uh, things that I can get addicted to. You know, I mean, I don't really say that I'm addicted to working out. I mean, I am, I am focused on getting uh, better health in my life with my diet and my exercise. And I've actually been exercising quite a bit for the last few years. But I, my diet is so like this, so I'm becoming more focused on that. But. I think the message that I'm trying to get across today is just, you know, what if you're struggling, find that thing that is positive for you, that makes you happy. For me, it's golf, it's tennis, it's it's walking the dog down to the lake, it's being on this treadmill, it's lifting weights. I recently started really getting into lifting weights again, and I realized how much I actually love it, how good it makes me feel. Uh, it might be painful in some of the moments, but, but overall, uh, I feel fantastic after I work out. And you know, those are the things you want to go towards, whether I'm, I'm a swimmer, I love swimming, so I've been trying to swim more. Um, going to the things that are, you know, escaping to those things that are positive for you in your life, you know? Whether it be, I mean, the guitar for me is a big one. I go to the guitar to express my emotions. I've been doing that since I picked it up when I was eight years old. Uh, in those first formative years, I didn't really understand it, but looking back now, I spent a lot of time with my guitar in my room alone because that's where I felt comfortable, you know, and the guitar gave back to me and it fed me, you know, the beauty and the love and the energy that music gives you. So I guess I just wanted to jump on here today because it was kind of on my heart and I wanted to talk about, you know, find the things that you feel passionate about and go towards those things. And if you don't know what that is, try different things, you know, try to go play golf. I mean, it may not be your thing, but at least you tried. It's the most incredible thing. I've played tons of sports. And when I got into golf, uh, finally, like nine years ago, and I'm going to tell that story eventually, too. Um, when I hit that first pure shot, oh, my gosh, the feeling is so exhilarating. And it's the most difficult game there. It's literally a game of centimeters. No, maybe millimeters. But, you know, that might not be your thing. Maybe your thing is shooting baskets, you know. Maybe your thing is throwing the football. Maybe your thing is playing the flute. Uh, whatever it may be, go towards those things and try and go away from the things that are bringing you down into that ditch. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this road to recovery. I am here, and my mission in life for this whole channel, the whole point of this thing, is to try and help 
anyone out there that may be struggling with these same addiction issues to see that, you know, if I can do this and if I can make my way out of it and, and, and find a better way of life, because the lows that I got to were just the, the most desperate lows that there are, and I found my way out. If I can do it, listen, you can do it too. And I hope to be here for you guys and help you. And listen, I want to thank you all too. There's a lot of people that have been messaging me, their stories. I, w- I just want to say I'm so proud of you all for finding your way as well. It's, it's a, we should talk about it. We should celebrate it because that's how life, you know, needs to be lived. It needs to be lived, you know, and loved. So listen, guys, thank you again for joining me today. And uh, I'll see you guys again on Monday. All right. Have a good weekend.